My contention is that uh, prior to the Revolutionary War, the economic modalities, especially in the southern colonies, could most aptly be characterized as agrarian pre capital All right, of course that's your Hang contention. On a You're a first-year grad student. You just got finished reading some Moxian historian, Pete Garrison, probably. You're going to be convinced of that till next month when you get to James Lemon. Then you're going to be talking about how the economies of Virginia and Pennsylvania were entrepreneurial and capitalist way back in 1740. That's going to last until next year. You're going to be in here regurgitating Gordon Wood talking about, you know, the pre-revolutionary utopia and the capital forming effects of military mobilization. One, don't do that. And two, you dropped 150 grand on a fucking education you could have got for a dollar fifty in late charges at the public library. It's cool. It's cool? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Fucking damn right it's cool. How you like me now? Nah. <laughs> My boy's waiting smart.